Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this very important package in R that is called String R. String R is a package that you can use to work with strings, uh, to manipulate them, to edit them, and we know how important it is to clean data for a data scientist. We have to do it almost on a daily basis before we can apply any algorithms to it. and uh, after this video, I hope that you are able to uh, apply this particular uh, library to your uh, R programming and uh, do better data cleaning. So let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do is, of course, to install this particular uh, package if you already don't have it uh, and just use install.packages. Um, and um, and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that again. And once you have installed it, the next step for you to do is to load that particular package by using library dot string r. So once you have loaded this package, you can see on the R Studio console, you have so many different small, smaller panes. And um, on this right hand side bottom, if I go and click on packages, so these are the list of all the packages that are already installed on this particular system. And here, if I go to the bottom, I can see string R, right? And it says simple, consistent wrappers for common string operations. And if I click on that, it takes me to a short description and a list of all the functions that are available within this package and what each of these functions can accomplish. Um, there is a short description uh, uh, next to each uh, function. And you can further click on each function to understand the syntax, the arguments you know so it gives you a lot of information so you don't have to memorize all of it although i would say that it is good to be familiar with this function and to know few of a uh, few of the functions uh, that you probably would need uh, on a day-to-day -day basis so okay so let's see some examples here um, so i have just noted few uh, phrases, uh, vectors here that we will use. And um, so the first one is a phrase. It says, I love to work with strings. Uh, second one is a vector called cities. It has the names of three cities in it, Chicago, San Francisco, and Miami. Uh, then we have this um, um, uh, rise variable, which has, if you see, there are some spaces um, next to rise and academy and then we have two strings which is half of it is saying what is and the other half of it is saying your name so these are some example strings but i encourage you to create your own strings and uh, work with them so now let's see so here are some of the things that i do a lot so i have put them here but as you can see there are so many functions here so go ahead and try them on your own after this video definitely so now let's say i want to know the length of a particular string so what can i do about it so let's go here and let's see what are the different functions that are available to us from this uh, list and see which one we can use to uh, to uh, you know check the length so we have here one that is called string underscore length so if i click on it it tells me that say string underscore length and give the name of your string and that should give you the length so see how easy it is so i'm going to just type that out i'm going to say uh, string underscore length and i'm going to give uh, this particular string that I have here that is called phrase. And so let's see what happens. Um, and I'm going to run this one and it gives me 27. So that many um, strings are that. So that is the length of this particular string phrase over here. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Okay, so as you can see, it calculates 
each and every alphabet it includes it and also the the spaces in between the words and that that's what is the length that it returns you so very useful and you may be using it all the time if you work with strings to know what is the length of the string right next one we want to know we want to count so let's see what function we have here that can help us to count uh, the number of uh, uh, you know strings so here is one function that is called string underscore count so that helps me to count uh, the number of strings so let's try and work with this one so i have string underscore count and for this one i'm going to give the second one which is called the cities uh, vector so let's see what it returns so it gives me as you can see the count the um, sorry the length of each of the strings inside this vector. So it is a little different from the first one that we saw. So for Chicago, it returned me length of five. For uh, San Francisco, it gave me 13. And for Miami, it gave me five, right? Once again, very similar to the previous one, but uh, again, could be very useful. Uh, then the next one I have is called pattern. Uh, so this will this is where we are trying to kind of find out a particular pattern in uh, in a given string. So let's go here and see if there is something over here that can help us uh, to find a particular pattern. OK, let's see. Uh, 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 so we have here. So we have here something called replace replace. I don't want replace uh, what I want is to do detect. OK, so that's what I want. The name is not exactly like uh, the first ones where we had string underscore length, string underscore count. Uh, it's a diff little different. It's not string underscore uh, pattern. It is detect. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find out a particular pattern inside my give, given uh, string. It could be anything. So let's try it out. So I give string underscore detect. And then uh, let's uh, choose this one. Let's give phrase. And then uh, for pattern, let's say I want to give a pattern of O. You know, I want to see, I'm just giving one letter, but you can give it anything. So it returns me true. So what does that say? It, say, it says to me that yes, this particular pattern of O that you have given is present inside this phrase like it's not telling me where it is present how many times it is present it is just telling me that it is present now instead of just o if i give ov because we do have l o v e so I'm, if i'm just giving ov let's see what i get so i again i get true because that particular thing is present right now instead of ov if i give let's say o t now we don't have OT, we have TO. So this should ideally give me false. See, so it tells me that no, OT pattern is not present inside phrase, right? So this way you can give different uh, different types of patterns and, and, and trust me, it is very useful to, uh, to have this particular function to find out a particular uh, type of pattern and you can then use that this true false response to filter your data and find out uh, some phrases that contain a particular uh, pattern that means something or is useful to you. Now the next uh, thing we want to do we want to trim. So let's see if there is something here that helps us to trim. OK, so we are lucky there is something called string underscore trim. Very easy to remember. So um, uh, let's read what it means. So string underscore trim function removes white space from start and end of the string. OK, so you need to remember what trim exactly means. It will only remove the white space from start and end of the stream, not from the middle of the stream, right? So if I give, I love to work with strings, it won't remove these uh, spaces. If I use the trim function, it will only remove any spaces at the start and end of the stream. So for that particular purpose, let's use uh, this uh, string that we have, which is called rise. 
so as you can see in this particular uh, string we already have some spaces at the beginning and at the end of rise academy so if i run this one now you can see in the answer i don't have any spaces anymore i don't have any space before r or after y right very useful to clean data you know when you extract data from different sources it is so much uh full of things that you don't need and space is definitely one of those things that is present uh, at places where you don't want it so this is a function that will help you to take care of that now next one is concatenate you must have heard of concatenation it means joining two strings so we have something here called string underscore c now it is not concat it's not concatenate it is just c and it says join multiple strings into a single string so now if i click on it i can see what is the syntax for here so it gives you have to give the strings that you want to join and there's something called separator sep and here you have to give if you a value that you want it to be separated by or if you don't want anything uh, then you can just leave it as just plain um, quotes so let's see so i have these two strings here string one says what is and string two says your name so i want to concatenate these two so what i'll do i'll do string underscore c and i will say string one comma string two and i will give a separator and in this case i want my separator to be one space so if i run this now you can see that it joins the two together but after is and before your it enters up space so that then it makes sense what is your name now let's see what happens if i give a different separator so instead of space if i give a dot so it will join the two together with a dot so it's up to you what you want to give right and if i give um nothing you know if i don't want to give anything there then it will just join the two together what is your name with no space in between right so depending on what is your requirement you know you may need some very special kind of separator or no separator so you can decide accordingly what you want to give or you just want to join them together without any separator so you can try it out okay so let's go back uh, now order and sort again very much useful we are always sorting things ordering things around so let's see what functions we have here so we have for ordering we have something called string underscore order and uh, so let's try it out uh, so i'm going to give string order and i'm going to give cities here and see what happens okay so see what happened so it tried to order the three strings inside of cities in the alphabetical order so chicago comes first because c comes first then it goes to 3 because m comes next and then it goes to san francisco because s comes at the end and so it tells me that inside this particular vector that you have this is the alphabetical order of the phrases or the strings the individual strings right so that's how uh, order will work now if i want to do sorting so for that let's see what function we have so we have here string underscore sorry i clicked on the correct one hmm i don't know why it is taking me to sort uh, uh, uh. that's weird it's oh um anyways i don't know why it's not taking me to sort but oh okay it has both of them at the same place okay good so we have string underscore sort so let's see how does that work so here now i'm going to give the same let's see what it returns so here it is returning me the exact strings right here it returned me only the order but here it is 
not just ordering them it is also returning me the names so i have actually chicago miami and san francisco instead of the rank instead of the order 1 3 and 2 okay so you can see which one you want and you can use it accordingly now replace replace can again be so useful when you are trying to clean your data and trying to replace some unnecessary thing or just clean it um so for replace we have you can see we have number of things here we have replace replace all so let's go to replace so you give a string you give a pattern and you give the replacement so you, what you are doing you are giving the string and then you are telling okay this is the pattern that i want to replace and then you are telling what exactly is that you want to replace that pattern with so for example let's do i'm going to do string uh sorry string replace and i'm going to give phrase and i'm saying that replace all the o with i like that's this is my pattern so look for all the o's inside phrase and replace it with i that's what i'm saying uh So let me run this. So I had I love to work with strings, and now it changed it to I live to work with strings. So it only is replacing the first occurrence of O, because we did have another O here um, in work under here in two, but it only replaced the O here in uh, love O. Uh, changed it to live with I, right? So. i guess now you understand why do we have a string replace all so if i instead would have used string replace all and given the exact same thing it will replace then all the os into i so let's run that and see now it has replaced all the os with i right so again could be very useful and uh, you can try it out and see a play play around with it uh, the last one is split uh, very similar to concatenate actually the exact opposite of concatenate we, we want to sometimes join strings together but then sometimes we also want to break them apart so for that let's see what we have we have a string split okay so once again uh, let's say i want to split uh, the same one phrase so i'm going to do string Split, and I'm going to give phrase. Sorry, my system has some problem. Um, and so, and I'm going to give a pattern as to where I want it to break. So I'm going to give the pattern as a uh, T O. So I want to break it there. So let's see if that works. Okay. So now, as you can see, my string is broken into two halves. one says i love and the other one says work with strings and it has broken it exactly here at two where with the 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 pattern that i gave right so now you can give any pattern and play around with it okay so i think that was the entire video guys i think this gives you enough uh, information to go and try out things on your own and to do that just go here to package and look for the particular package and then look for all the list of functions available and see which ones you want to use and go for them and as you can see the the names are very uh, intuitive other than something like um, uh, concatenate which just had c but the others if you see or pattern which had detect but most of them for length count you know they are very intuitive and you can look them up over here and you can choose to use them as you want to okay so i'm now going to uh, push this code to uh, my github and i'll put the github link um in my uh, video's description box so you can uh, go and access this if you want to and uh, um play around with it uh so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful to you i'm sorry i'm not able to come here uh, as often as i would like to but uh, stay with us and i will make sure to post more videos 
okay guys have a great week ahead